the stars. In all of those gigantic, you look at them, they look glorious. You know, just, they are just things you see and you're like, wow, God is wonderful. You have the, the wonders of the earth, you're like, God is wonderful. Oh yes, that is not where the glory of the Lord is. Man, the crown of God's creation. Man, you, man in Christ. The man that has gotten to the intention of God. So, God does not care for these mountains. <laughs> he cares for you. He cares for you. You know, it's very easy to think uh, God just wants us to do ministry, right? Just serve God and just, you know, many persons, you might have thought about it in, in your different times. Does God really care for my life? He does. He does. He does. Those nitty gritties, those tiny areas. Go to Matthew 6. Every part of our life. Matthew 10 said, Matthew 10, 30. The hairs on our head is not bad. It's not bad. He cares that much. The enemy might want to steal your faith, hope, bringing things around you. And when you pray and you don't, and you're like, ah, ah, I'll just accept it. God cares. Say it to yourself, God cares. Don't allow the devil to steal faith, trust in God. Hope. Hope. A faithless, a hopeless believer. Ah. Let it be far from us. I hope that things will not get better. Let me just, let me just flow. Let me just, at least later, everything will go, this life, there's nothing in this life, will not go, I just don't aspire to have the, the least of life, amen Matthew 6, let's just go there, don't, don't, we don't settle, let's, let's just see, let's just take life as it goes we have a heavenly father remember something pastor said good things happen to those <laughs> that believe that God loves them. And that love of God is going to flood our consciousness. Matthew 6, let's just read 25 down, everybody. Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life. What ye shall eat, what ye shall drink. Let's read together. Nor yet for your body, what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat? And the body that rain men, Jesus is speaking, right? Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you, by taking thoughts, worry, fear, can add one cubit into his stature? And why take you thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so close the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Therefore, take no thought, saying, what shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or where without shall we be clothed? He said, take no thoughts. Fear, worry. For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. Glory to God. He said, but seek ye first the kingdom of God, his righteousness, and all these things shall be added. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto this day. Glory to God. In salvation, we pick yet the confidence that we need, even for the physical. Even for the physical. In salvation, okay, just rush to 
Romans 5. Let this scripture, the same thing, yes. If this scripture should just bet trust, if God is proactive enough in this, proactive in the sense that I did not apply, I did not ask him, he gave me, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. Miracles happen when you just learn to trust. Miracles happen when you learn to trust. How do we see it in Peter? When he began to walk on water, looking on Jesus. Just <laughs> trust, not fear. Romans 5, let's just see it. But God commended his love towards us that in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Hallelujah. While we were undeserving, we got the greatest gift. You know? While we were yet on our own way, he made his life available for us. So does God care for you? Your life, your future, how your life will turn out? A good spouse, good job, your health. Does God care for you? Yes, he does. Oh, glory to God. And we'll have better days. We'll have beautiful days. We'll have awesome days. And you better stop doubting. You better stop allowing your mind to fight it. Allowing your mind to fight the goodness of God. Calm down.
in his own way. Let faith, let faith just crisscross the road. Oh, mm-hmm. 